So back in my Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse review, I considered discussing the topic of hype and what it does to people, but I didn't think about it again until the backlash of my recent Ninja Turtles review. Now I think it's time to cover this topic. This isn't a new issue, of course. Anyone who expresses even the slightest amount of criticism of a wildly popular franchise often receives more flack than a C-47. This ignorance divides fandoms and results in worsening installments because discussion is equated to treason. It's no different than politics when a pseudo dividing line is drawn that separates people as the haves and have-nots. If you defend the movie, regardless of glaring issues, then you're a true fan and you will get your decoder ring, along with complimentary blindfold handcuffs and knee pads. On the other hand, if you point out a single flaw, then you're an evil monster to be labeled as every phobic istin ism someone can make up. I understand excitement for a movie, game, or whatever, but this doesn't mean you should blatantly disregard the problems within said movie, game, or whatever. I love the Doom franchise. Franchise? Does that statement mean I must forever default to everything Doom is good? Fuck no, the movies suck and Eternal is a mess. Am I a fan no longer? Along with the vast majority of the MCU, Black Panther and Wakanda Forever suck. Did someone order a white supremacist with cheese? Here's your complimentary tiki torch. No, that's stupid, and I don't assume the same of others. If you want to enjoy something, go ahead. But ignoring problems is what led to the multitude of overlapping issues we see today, with studios mass-producing, ever-degrading movies, shows, whatever, in an impossible bid to keep up with the rabid demand of more, more, more. The question I have to ask these people is, have you ever really stopped to question what you're losing when you choose to keep your head up your ass? The achievements of heroes are mocked as new ones come along and accomplish far greater with less difficulty. The world building gets smashed like a college student because people who don't care about the universe get a check with so many zeros on it, it looks like a cat fell asleep on the keyboard. The writing may as well be toilet paper as new creators either make worse additions and or recycle the same flaws that have plagued the IP. Everyone who's watched Dragon Ball knows what I'm talking about. Broly is the perfect example. He's got Bengal Tigers for biceps and can't beat Super Saiyan Vegeta in a game of patty cake, but by the power of plot, becomes strong enough to do so. Repeatedly. Never mind everything else he does in that fucking movie. I guess Kami, King Kai, and Whis are just full of shit because Paragus is the real teacher, considering the results of his training. And if you point anything like this out, no matter the franchise, zealous fans will do all short of crucify you for questioning their false idols. Across the Spider-Verse is a middling film with stupid characters, and as of right now, an inconclusive rule set. But you can't talk about it. Prey is shit-tier fanfiction set in the Predator universe, but say that out loud, they'll scalp you. And these are only a few examples of the evaporating pool of long-standing franchises that rabid fans demand more content of, but have no idea what they're settling or asking for. It's a simple cycle. First, fans demand more content, followed by studios producing more for less. This results in the fandom dividing, because zealots love when you dangle keys like they're toddlers, while the rest detach because the content is getting worse and negatively impacts the legacy. Afterwards, the zealots wonder what could ever have happened to the once great fandom. It couldn't possibly be all the infighting, because people with valid criticisms were treated like Jews in the 1930s. So they seek to bring in new fans, and the cycle continues. Star Wars is the perfect example. It had a solid trilogy expanding into enough extended universe novels to fill the Library of Alexandria until we got the sequels. Those films came out, and the fandom was divided like left and right Twix before a plethora of media brought in more fans. And after years of begging, the inevitable sequel trilogy was more divisive than the Goku vs. Superman argument. This cycle has repeated at an accelerated rate with the latest Ahsoka, which, if there was ever a number to prove my point, the first episode was watched by only 1.2 million people. But there's no way the content could be degrading, right? It could be reusing the same things, right? Ignoring whatever the fuck in Ahsoka is, let's look up the latest episode. Ah, more Jedi fighting Sith. And another MacGuffin, look at that. This time it isn't the Clitoris Tickler 3000, now it's one of Joy Behar's anal beads. Great. And wouldn't you know it, this ancient artifact also leads to a location of great importance. And cherry on top, Anakin Child Killer is back because Star Wars has officially entered multiverse territory. Fuck! All of this because people won't acknowledge what they enjoy might be bad, which is an indicator of good mental health, by the way, and they refuse discussion because whenever next product comes out, don't think. Just consume.
This is one of the myriad reasons so many once legendary franchises suck. Conversation is healthy and disagreement can lead to better results, but we have to take the first step by simply asking questions. That is the only way to break this cycle, because once more studios realize people won't settle for less, then they'll have to work harder to earn our money. Once they do, studios can produce genuine products that we, the audience, appreciate. This makes both parties happy as they take in more profit while we gleefully tell new audiences this product doesn't suck and everyone can be happy as this new cycle can begin. Now thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.